Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video on my pressure washer. It's a Simpson 3000 PSI that I got from Harbor Freight, or I'm sorry, not Harbor Freight, um, Tractor Supply. And uh, Simpson's the brand, and then the pressure or the uh, pressure washer pump is the uh, high pressure OEM technology. Anyways, so it stopped working as far as like pressure wise, and uh, looked online and uh, couldn't find much information about it. Some people said to replace different parts, and anyways, long story short, I ended up replacing the uh, pressure thermal valve, I guess is what it's called. Yeah, thermal release valve. And then I replaced the, this guy, which is the unloader valve. And that is it right there. All right, so once I replaced that, it still didn't work. So I was looked, did some more research and saw that somebody said to replace the these guys here it's called pressure washer pump check valves so the check valves um, I'm replacing right now and the reason I'm making this video is because the check valves are a pain in the butt to get out uh, they literally came out in pieces and they look destroyed so I really think that's gonna be my problem and uh, so I wanted to show you guys how I got them out I got this tool from Harbor Freight a little Pittsburgh like pick anyways I picked them out as much as I could and uh, once I got everything out that I could I got the in stuck so these were stuck inside there and I'm gonna show you guys how to get them out and uh, just give you a little image of what looks like down in there all right so that's what they look like you can see they're stuck so I got one out and I still got to get the other two out you can pull that seal out comes out with that little pick um, but I couldn't figure out how to get them out and uh, what I ended up doing is using I just had these laying around they're just like uh, concrete anchor screws and uh, ended up putting it down in there I'll show you how to do it real quick so I ended up taking it screwing it down in there and just screwing it a little bit take your screwdriver put a little bit of pressure on it and uh, once you get it down in there you're gonna put it in your vise or whatever you got and then just kind of work it out oh, there we go all right guys that's it that's how I got it out. Um, easiest way that I saw to get them dumb things out of there without messing anything up. And uh, let me know what y'all think. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Alright guys, let's go clean it all up and then we'll put it back in. What I'm using is just a little brush, metal brush and a rotary tool to clean out the barrels. I got the check valves in and we'll put the caps back on
Hey y'all, so it looks like it was the check valves. After replacing them, I got full pressure back on my pressure washer. Uh, so if y'all have this problem, definitely replace the check valves and hopefully it works for you. I'll put the links in the description. And if you can, subscribe to my channel and like the video. I'd greatly appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. Thanks.